Okay, uh, Callie Rose here. We are uh, learning uh, that iconic lick uh, in the song "Both Sides Now," and this is the Joni, this is the uh, Judy Collins version. Um, the la 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 la. So what I want to show you guys in this video are other options besides the actual lick uh, that Judy Collins does. And uh, some of you may be more comfortable doing a slightly uh, easier version. So I, I want you to have these different possibilities available to you. And I want to show you um, where this is happening. I, I'm just, uh, just got this here in the way here. All right, let me move this. So I'm going to circle all this right here. I hope you can see this screen share of the arrangement. Uh, the intro. This is where we're going to do that lick. And we have one measure. Oops, I wanted to. Sorry about that. Clear this. Sorry. I wanted to use my vanishing pen here. We have, this is one measure. This is one measure. So we have uh, four measures that we play this lick. And the way we count it for one measure is one and two and three and four and. That's kind of important to keep in our pocket here. The C will be one and two and, F will be three and four and. So that's kind of the big picture. And you notice that this is repeating, this motif is repeating at the end of uh, each chorus. And the difference oh, between these and this is this. <laughs> the word that we're singing all. And we're singing that same word <laughs> uh, at the end of each chorus. Now what that means is we're gonna be singing that word all as we are starting that lick. That's gonna take a bit of wood shedding to, um, to smooth that out. It is not easy to leave the, the uh, technique of strumming and start picking and singing at the same time. But it is very possible, and that is what we're going to do. So these are going to be the more user-friendly options. Uh, let me do them. God is fairly slow. I'm gonna bring us down to 95 beat, 85 beats per minute. And this is a rock beat. First option is to use our thumb and strum down with that thumb strum, you know, where I'm pushing in and pulling down at the same time. And I'm going one and two and F, one and two or three and four and. Let me turn on the drum. And let's try that whole intro doing this technique. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. If that's too slow, just slow it down for yourselves uh, when you're working on this. And <clears throat> if you're choosing to do this particular technique, it will help you if you hold your baby finger down as you're making the F. Because an F chord has a C note in it. So <clears throat> what we're creating is, a, is an F chord with a slightly different voicing. So that's option number one. Here is another option to finger pick this. And uh, I am finger picking this from the floor to the ceiling. So it looks like this. Holding that baby finger down. Let me turn on the drum and 
find it down here with my foot. Let's try it together. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay. That's <clears throat> choice number two. Now we're going to talk about uh, another option that that uh, is a little bit closer to the original motif. It looks and sounds like this. Now it's beginning to sound more like Judy Collins' version. So here is what we're doing. And many of you may want to just stay and land on this particular option. It's a little tricky because we are starting the lick on the E string and we're going up towards the nose. And for the C chord, I'm not doing anything. It's an open form. So we're going, let me tell you what the strings are. It's an E, C string, G string, and then back to the E. One and two and one and two and one and two and the right hand technique over here remains the same through the entire lick. So it will look like this two, three, one and two and three and four and one and two and F. One and two and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Let's do it really, really slowly. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so you notice the motif is watch my right hand. I start and I end on the E string. And so I'm going to actually play it twice when I make the transition from a C chord to an F chord. So watch my right hand. Two, three, four. One and two and twice. One and two. I want you to focus in on our favorite finger here, middle finger. Two, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Ah, ah, da, da, da. Let's try uh, singing a little bit of this. Let's, uh, and I'm gonna slow it down. <clears throat> All right, let's just sing a chorus one. One, two, three. I've looked at clouds from both sides now, from up and down. Still somehow It's clouds Illusions I recall I really Don't know Clouds That's us Get ready 